I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. The struggle is real with the makeup nurse. Today I'm excited. Um, if you saw my unboxing, I signed up to be a beauty influencer with the brand Pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-S-I. And I did it because it's only $20 to start and then you get 50% off the makeup. So I'm excited to try everything that I bought. I have them quite a few products, almost a full face, and I will um, put, I will post, paste a link in my description box if anybody's interested in buying. Yes, I will make some money off of it, so um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but that's the beauty of it. I get 50% off of the makeup, and if I can make my money, why not? It's a win-win for, for me, right? So um, I did get this kit, a starter kit that's almost a full face, so I'm excited to try it and I'm hoping that it has a good outcome. So we'll go ahead and see. So I'm going to go in with their Iconic palette. And these are the colors. Take this off. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Bliss. And it's got a little mirror, so that's nice too. And it, all this makeup is um, from their brand is cruelty free, so that's another plus. So this is the brand Thursday, and I'm so excited because tomorrow is Friday. Oh my goodness. I have to use Struggle for my shade. How convenient is that? I'm going to place that on the outer corners. I cannot wait until next week already, even though I just got back to California. Because next week, I get to be home for an entire week with my family. I am so excited. And I already ordered my grands, well, both of them, my grandkids, but my granddaughter's three months old. She doesn't, she's not excited. She, she doesn't know. But... Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with this passion color now. And I told my daughter she when they come in, from, um, she needs to wrap it and hide, hide it. I have the presents from my grandson so he doesn't see it. So. I like how these shimmers are going in on and I did not wet them um, at all and I'm using the brush. This is the shimmer shade. Yep, I like that. Okay, now I want to go in with Myth and I like the fact that the names are on the palette. That's my favorite thing. It drives me nuts when palettes don't do that. And it's got a little mirror, everything. It's so nice. Wow, that shimmer um, is really good. The only thing is, I should have went in with a lighter color because it's hard to see the shimmer um, because I went in with a dark transition shade. 
but you can see but you can still see the pigment so that's good all right let's move on to eyeliner i think i have a couple eyeliners here the ink eyeliner oh this is blue i don't think i want to do blue today um this is looks like maybe a green color yeah um, I don't know if I want green let me see a black okay well I don't the only ink um, and I like to go in with these um, for my top is and blue so let's take these off and just put this underneath for now Oh, it went on really nice, and I like how it's, I'm not a pencil. I really don't like the pencils. Oh, wow, that's, oh, that's, that goes on too well. Um, let me go fix that. Okay, I wonder if I can go in with the blue, just so we can test it out, and then put a black over it. So let's, let's do that. I hope I'm not really screwing up this look. Wow, that's even more pigmented than I thought. <laughs> I hope the black will go over it. Okay, too late now, Jamie. Okay, let me go see if I can. I, I did like how this went on though. It went on really nice. Um, I like felt tips. Um, let me go see if I can fix it. Okay, to hide the blue, I ended up doing too thick of an eyeliner, but it did um, hide it pretty well. So that's good. But yeah, I did like it. I just don't know how often I would use blue eyeliner. But, um, so maybe I'll have to get a different shade. All right, let's go in with primer. I have the sample of um, the Camera Ready Primer Strobe um, so Illuminating Primer. So let's go in with this primer. I do have the actual bottle too, but I don't want to open it. I want to just see kind of how this primer is. It's like a moisturizing consistency which I, I like, feels like a moisturizer. Oh wow, it does give a little glow. Hence the illuminating primer strobe. Okay, so far I like it. It's like a moisturizer consistency. All right, next up is foundation and I um, figured I would go in with the matte and not the uh, CC cream because we're gonna do the um, illuminating um, primer so let's open this I'll be right back all right I'm back let's oh I hope it's my right shade Well, I think it's going to be way too dark. <sighs> That's all right. I've done worse. All right. Where's my sponge? It's the bad thing about doing stuff online because it's hard to get a shade that matches you. Is this, um, it doesn't say what shade it's in. Oh, it just says zero 04. So I'm going to have to look on mine because I had the whole, um, I, I wonder when I put the kit, if I just put light or 
Maybe I put, I wonder if I put medium. So that's my fault. But we can make this work. It's not like super, super dark like that one foundation I bought. Well, it, it is like full cover. It seems like it's full coverage. It doesn't say if it's, it is or not, but it's covering pretty good. So let's just hope everything else works out good. All right, I thought I, did I order a concealer from them? I'm not sure if I did, hold on. You guys, I just realized it has shades one, two, three, and four. This is the four. So I'm assuming this is the darkest. Um, so I do have the other ones. But in the um, bottle that I got, I ended up getting shade three. So maybe this will actually be good because it's not that much darker than me. Well, that makes me feel better that that was... Uh, because I think when you get the kit, it's like light to medium or medium. I think there's like that. So that that's probably the range that I got. And so this is probably why it's the dark. Um, and this is the darkest. So I feel better about that. Because I'm like, oh gosh. that All that makeup is hopefully not wasted. I mean, I'd still make it work. You know me. I'm not going to waste it. But I like how... Um, I was able to use the shade range for that in the kit. And I'm assuming if you order online, you can just look at the, and obviously order one, because unless you order a kit and you wanna become a, a seller too. You can always do that. And then, like I said, you get 50% off. We gotta lighten this face up a little bit. I only get two shades. I don't tan. I either get ghostly white like I am or I get lobster red in the sun. So I try to Take all the precautions. Back when I was younger, I tried to get, you know, I'd stay in the sun and try to get some tea into me. And then when I'm like, when I got lobster red, I'm like, okay, well, after it heals, it'll turn into a tan. Yeah, no, not really, not not me. Okay, I didn't order any cream products from them, so I went ahead and finished that up. Um, I do have this pressed powder, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with it I think the shade ended up working out well after I lightened it with the concealer what do you think comment down below so you can always lighten or even darken your makeup if you get the wrong shade that's the nice thing about makeup and it seemed to set nicely so far. But I do like, I don't have a lighter shade. And I do like going in with the lighter <clears throat> in my T-zone. So I'm just going to use this palette. Like I said, I'm trying to use this up. So my co-worker yesterday, there's this one lady who wears makeup and it's I don't think it's too too bad but I get yeah you know but she goes Jamie you should really because they know how she knows how obsessed I am with makeup she's like you should really teach her how to put me um give her some makeup lessons and I just kind of chuckled 
because I'm not really ready to, I'm going to go on with the bronzer, <clears throat> to let people know. Oh, they do have a lighter shade in here. Oh, that I could use for my T-zone. Oh, well. <clears throat> but I'm not really ready to let people know that I have a YouTube channel at work. Um, just because I don't know if I'm ready to see it them to know this side of my craziness let me know if you uh feel the same way at work or do you openly talk about your youtube channel at work i don't know i i just think people would think i'm crazy maybe i am because for some reason like when you first start out a channel unless you get real big there you're gonna get those people in your life that are like that's stupid it's just a waste you know it, you're never gonna make it and um, and then you get some people that really support you so it could go either way right yeah and I and I have some family that um, like one of my sisters she thinks I'm, it's stupid and she doesn't want to support me but but my other sister does, so, you know. So I think because not even all my family supports me, I feel like people at work would think I'm crazy. So I keep it that personal. And if they happen to go on my YouTube channel and find me, you know, that's a whole different story. Well, then, if they're looking for it, this was the bronzer. And it went on really nice. I do like it. Okay, I'm going to go in with the blush. And um, I guess I'll use this brush. This is very pretty. It almost looks like the NARS Orgasm. And that's my favorite. Looks very similar. Let me go find it. Oh my, look at you guys. It is very similar. Even with the little, I don't know if you can see, with the, um, it even has a little bit of the shimmer. It looks like the NARS, here, let me swatch it. The NARS, I don't know if you can see that. My light, let me dim down this light. Okay, so that is the NARS. It has a maybe a little bit more glitter on it. Oh, okay, it is a little different. But it's very similar, which I like. Um, I'll have to like look at the price on this and see like the price difference. But the NARS is like one of my the orgasm one is one of my favorites. So, I'm go that's exciting. I really like that. All right, now we go in with, did I get a highlighter? I don't think I got a highlighter. Well, that stinks. Okay, guys, I'm going to go in with this Brow Design Eyebrow Mascara. Let's see how this works I'm actually been liking the tinted stuff because it's so much easier in the morning than doing the pencil lately. Um, that's just when I really need to, you know, hurry up. Well, I like how it went on, but this shade might be a little bit too dark for me. Oh, well, it's not too bad. All right, so we're going to go back in with um, and do my lower eyes. We're going to do struggle.
and then we're going to mix it up with mint. I don't have a lip liner, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in with, oh, you know what? I take that back. I forgot to do the rest of my eye. <clears throat> we are going to go in with, oh, let's go with Mermaid on the top. Kind of a goldy champagne shade. And idol this whiter shade in the corners of my eye. To get that pop. Okay, now let's go in with lipstick. This is the matte. And it's already drying down. Which is fine because we do have a lip gloss. Okay, now that this, this is drying down, let's put the setting spray on. This is Makeup Time Locker. Have more fun, long lasting makeup. For all skin types. Okay. Oh, the spray is, um, you, you got to kind of keep it out because uh, it has got a strong spray, but um, not too bad, which is nice. So let's set that in. And then now let's put the gloss on. And this was in the shade, well, it just says 204, so they must not have, like, actual shades. Did I get my white shirt all dirty again? <clears throat> and then this is in the shade um, Satin Pink. Wait, so maybe this does have a shade name. Goddess. Oh, and it actually matches pretty good. Put the gloss on. And it's not sticky. It just kind of, um, it's got a good formula. It makes it, it my, my lips, um, not so dry and it's not sticky i like that all right now the favorite product that i've been dying to use is the limitless volume mascara when that girl would put pictures on it um post pictures of herself with this mascara oh my gosh it was amazing and i'm not even going to use primer today i want to just see how this looks oh and it's got a not too thin of a wand, not too thick, but it's not so flimsy. So let's see how this works. Okay, let me go into the other mirror and put another coat on and do my under eye lash, my lower lashes. Okay, this is the final look. I did get um, my it on my lower lashes um, because it's got a thicker wand. It takes me a little bit to be a bit more careful. But I like how it looks. I was hoping it, um, in her pictures, the mascara makes her eyelashes look longer. Let me know what you think about it. I mean, I like it, but I think I was expecting more. But anyway.
anyway, this is the final look. Please comment down below if um, you would like to see a different brand next week or what you would like to see in future videos. And also, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell uh, next to it if you're um, so you're notified of future uploads. And if you're not new here, welcome back and have a great Thursday. Bye!